Today I have for sale this Minolta Freedom Dual 35mm point and shoot film camera. This will be for sale on my eBay store and I thought we would test this camera by putting batteries in it and going through the operating condition of this camera. This camera takes four AAA batteries or one 6 volt CR25 battery. I am testing this camera with triple A's. <clears throat> now that the batteries are inserted, we can turn the camera on by moving this lever down. So the camera is now on and the lens is exposed. The lens will not open up until the shutter button is pressed. So let's do that now. This is also equipped with an autofocus motor which will automatically focus the lens. So the flash is also automatic and there's no way to turn the flash off. So you did see the flash fire. If I turn this light off again, you can see it flash clearer. So the flash capacitor is working correctly and the lens is opening up and the lens is moving out to autofocus the camera. So we can open the back of the camera. We can look at the inside condition. This is a nicely designed film back because there are no foam light seals. The camera was designed by Minolta to mate with the back of the film. You could see the ridges here mate with the ridge here. So let's check out the operating condition on the inside. Let me cover that flash so you can see the camera operating. Alright, so you saw the lens open up and the shutter open up and the auto drive, the auto winder, wind on the film. We can close the camera now and change the focal distance of the lens. So this red button will change the lens selection. So we can see that the lens popped out and the lens will pop back into the camera depending on the focal length that you have selected. I have also verified that the viewfinder also moves with the lens selection. The batteries will not come with this camera, but I also have to note an area of cosmetic issue. Right here on the bottom of the camera, you can see that the plastic has been um, chipped out of the camera a little bit. I wouldn't say that it's chipped, it's just out of place. You can see the ridge there as I run my finger along it. So I'm not sure that there's any way to pop it back in, although I can try to with a screwdriver. I'll do that off camera though. The serial number is 33213645. For anybody who is wondering, a few scratches on the back film door and on the front of the camera, but nothing that would render this camera inoperable. So this will be available for sale on my eBay store. Thank you for watching and look out for my other camera listings 
on my store. Thank you.